Drop a fizzies in a glass. Watch the magic come to pass. This is cool peanut spread from crap. When you said chocolate. And it helped me to get my own candy hit. Reggie. The vibrant world of snack culture as we rewind to the 1960s was a time of remarkable change and innovation. From familiar comforts to daring new flavors, the snack aisle was a playground of culinary delights that left an indelible mark on our taste buds and collective memory. Let's rediscover the iconic treats that defined an era, reminding us of their cultural significance. Join us on a flavorful trip down memory lane as we explore the 20 famous snacks from the 1960s that uh, we want back. In 1930, Mars sweetened the world with the introduction of Snickers, inspired by the cherished horse of the Mars family. The Marathon Bar, a chocolate-covered masterpiece featuring carefully braided caramel. Hey, you marathons right. You marathon? You marathon! Gained fame not just for its deliciousness, but also for its impressive length. Its iconic tagline proudly declared, it lasts a good long time. This delectable treat comprises a delightful combination of nougat, crunchy peanuts, and luscious caramel, all embraced by a sumptuous chocolate coating. Across the pond in the UK and Ireland, the same delectable delight was known as Marathon until 1990, when Mars decided to unite it with its global identity as Snickers. Interestingly, Mars had previously introduced and discontinued an unrelated bar named Marathon in the United States during the 1970s, reminiscent of the UK's beloved Curly Whirly. The Snickers tale is more than just the history of chocolate. It's a delightful journey across time, mixing flavors, names, and a hint of inspiration from horses. Space food sticks, iconic snacks from the 1960s, were created by Pillsbury in collaboration with NASA to cater to astronauts' need for a convenient and nutritious snack during space missions. These cylindrical treats gained popularity during the Apollo missions, but soon became a hit on Earth, too. Space food sticks. They give lasting energy and good nutrition. Known for their futuristic appeal and connection to the space race, space food sticks represented the scientific advancements of the era. Available in flavors like chocolate, peanut butter, and caramel, they offered a unique mix of nostalgia and innovation, becoming a cultural phenomenon and featuring in advertisements and astronaut endorsements. Despite their initial success, space food sticks disappeared from the market in the 1970s, Nevertheless, occasional revivals continue to evoke fond memories of a time when the world was captivated by the excitement and wonder of space exploration. Chocolite, an innovative chocolate bar renowned for its distinctive bubbly texture, made waves in the chocolate industry when introduced by Breaker Confections in the 1970s. You get an extra light chocolatey mouth when you bite a Nestle's Chocolite, the only chocolate bar whipped up so light. It fills your mouth with chocolate. The key to Chocolite's uniqueness lies in its airy composition, achieved through the incorporation of nitrogen gas during the manufacturing process. This results in tiny air bubbles that give the chocolate a remarkably light and delicate feel, offering a delightful and smooth taste experience. The bar swiftly gained popularity for its indulgent flavor and satisfyingly airy consistency. It became a nostalgic favorite among fans who fondly remember the joy of biting into its unique bubbly layers. Despite facing periods of limited availability and discontinuation, Choco Light continues to leave a lasting impact on the chocolate market, capturing the taste buds and creating sweet memories for those who relish this delight. The Reggie Bar, a chocolate bar paying tribute to baseball legend Reggie Jackson, gained prominence in the 1970s. And it helped me to get my own candy hit. Reggie, with a rich caramel center, lots of fresh roasted peanuts, and a super chocolatey covering. Introduced by the Standard Brands Company, this confection was inspired by Jackson's moniker, Mr. October, which he earned for his outstanding performances in postseason games. The Reggie Bar featured a blend of caramel and nougat enveloped in milk chocolate, serving as a sweet homage to the renowned athlete. Launched during the peak of Jackson's popularity, particularly after his noteworthy World Series achievements with the New York Yankees, the candy aimed to leverage his star status. Although the Reggie. Barr had a relatively brief presence in the market. Its connection to the iconic baseball player and the novelty of a candy named after a sports figure left a lasting impression on fans and collectors alike. 
Moving forward, get ready for a joyful blast as we explore the iconic taste of teaberry gum in our next chapter. Let's dive into the details and discover what made it so unforgettable. Teaberry gum, renowned for its distinctive wintergreen-like flavor, emerged as a unique departure from the conventional tastes of chewing gum. Introduced by the Clark Gum Company in the late 19th century, teaberry gum gained popularity for its refreshing and aromatic qualities, setting it apart in the world of gum flavors. The gum derived its name from the teaberry plant, whose leaves impart a wintergreen taste. This unusual flavor profile appealed to consumers looking for something different from the more typical mint or fruit-flavored gums. Teaberry gum's popularity skyrocketed during the mid-20th century, becoming a beloved treat for those who savored its aromatic and slightly spicy notes. Despite changes in ownership and variations in the gum market, Teaberry gum maintained a loyal following. Its unique flavor and vintage appeal have contributed to its status as a nostalgic favorite, evoking memories of a time when chewing gum was an adventure in taste exploration. Kugel, a flavored peanut spread introduced by Kraft in the 1960s, offered a playful departure from traditional peanut butter. Known for its diverse flavors like chocolate, vanilla, banana, and cinnamon, Kugel aimed to cater to various taste preferences, providing an alternative to standard peanut butter. The chocolate variant gained popularity for its sweet and nutty combination, offering a unique option compared to regular chocolate spreads. With unconventional advertising campaigns emphasizing enjoyment, This is Kugel Peanut Spread from Kraft. Kugel became a versatile choice for infusing excitement into meals. Despite its initial success, Kugel was eventually discontinued, possibly due to changing consumer preferences and evolving food trends. Although no longer available, Kugel remains a nostalgic reminder of the 1960s culinary landscape. Those who experienced the era fondly recall the distinctive jars and unique flavors of Kugel, reflecting the creativity and experimentation that characterized the food innovation of that time. Hostess Danish Rings, a delightful creation introduced by the renowned snack company Hostess, offered a playful twist to the classic Danish pastry. Departing from the conventional pastry form, Hostess Danish Rings provided visual appeal and a convenient shareable format, resembling traditional Danish pastries with layers of flaky pastry and folding various delectable fillings. These fillings ranged from fruity jams to creamy custards, delivering flavor in every bite. The combination of the rich, buttery pastry and the sweet, luscious fillings made Danish Rings a satisfying treat for those with a penchant for sweetness. To elevate the indulgence, the hostess went a step further by generously icing the Danish rings. The sweet and glossy icing not only added an extra layer of sweetness, but also imparted a polished and tempting finish, enhancing the overall appeal of the pastries. While hostess Danish rings may not be as prevalent in the present day, they persist as cherished memories for those who savored these delightful pastries during their production. Moving from Danish rings, have you ever wondered which classic snacks from the 1960s could still tantalize your taste buds today? Let's check out this next one. Pepsi Light, the lemon-flavored diet variant of Pepsi, emerged in 1964 as a refreshing innovation, capitalizing on the cultural shifts of the 1960s. Responding to the rising demand for sugar-free options amid a growing diet culture, Pepsi Light blended the classic Pepsi taste with a zesty lemon twist, offering a guilt-free, flavorful alternative. There's a fresh new taste in soft drinks. Do you have any fresh Pepsi? The unique fusion of flavors made it an instant hit, especially as consumers increasingly sought healthier choices. Pepsi Light's success relied upon its ability to adapt to changing preferences, aligning with the era's health-conscious trend. Its introduction marked a symbol of modernity and innovation, reflecting a broader movement in the food industry experimenting with flavors. Despite facing challenges and rebranding, Pepsi Light's nostalgic lemony taste remains iconic, fondly remembered for making a lasting impression during the dynamic 1960s. Fizzy's drink tablets, originating in the 1950s and 1960s, were the brainchild of Lem Billings, vice president at the Emerson Drug Company. Billings, a close friend of President John F. Kennedy, utilized his position to create fizzies, aiming to mask the taste of sodium citrate with fruit flavors. 
Initially introduced regionally in 1957, fizzies gained nationwide fame in 1962 after the Emerson Drug Company was acquired by Warner Lambert. The tablets, dropped into water, underwent a captivating fizzing process, turning it into a sweet, effervescent drink. With flavors like grape, orange, cherry, lemon lime, strawberry, root beer, and cola, fizzies became a cultural phenomenon in the 50s and 60s, rivaling Kool-Aid in sales. The tablets even made their mark in popular culture, sponsoring the Sherry Lewis Show and featuring in the 1,962 set film National Lampoon's Animal House, where a memorable scene involves dumping a truckload of fizzies into a swimming pool during a swim meet. Gatorade, the renowned American sports beverage, originated in 1965 when Dr. Robert Cade and his team developed it for the University of Florida's Gators to replenish carbohydrates and electrolytes lost during physical activities. Originally produced by Stokely Van Camp, Gatorade gained widespread recognition after the Quaker Oats Company acquired it in 1983, propelling the brand into the mainstream. PepsiCo's acquisition of Quaker Oats in 2000 further expanded Gatorade's global reach. Gatorade's success extended beyond its original purpose, evolving into a diverse line of sports-themed products like Gatorade G2, Gatorade Zero, and Gatorade Endurance. These catered to a broad spectrum of athletes, contributing to its status as PepsiCo's fourth largest brand by 2010, highlighting its enduring impact on the beverage industry and its strong connection to the sports and fitness world. Well, after savoring the memory of Gatorgum, aren't you eager to explore the next nostalgic delight? Quake cereal, introduced in the 1960s by Quaker Oats, was a notable addition to the era's snack landscape. This cereal, akin to its counterpart Quisp, featured a distinctive character mascot named Quake, a brawny miner with a helmet and pickaxe. The cereal boasted a unique marketing strategy by promoting a friendly rivalry between Quake and Quisp. The dam has busted! See for yourself! But that means Grandma Peachy's wildflower preserve will be flooded! Encouraging consumers to choose their favorite character. Quake's packaging showcased vibrant illustrations of the burly miner engaged in adventurous activities, adding an exciting narrative to breakfast time. The 1960s marked a significant era in snack innovation, and Quake's cereal embodied the playful and imaginative spirit of that time. The cereal's popularity soared as children eagerly collected the corresponding toys and participated in the animated debate over Quake versus Quisp. Though Quake cereal eventually faded from the market, enthusiasts fondly recall this unique cereal, wishing for a revival of its distinctive character and the spirited breakfast time rivalry it once brought to households. Summit Cookie Bars, a delightful treat from the early 1980s, was an iconic member of the Mars candy family during a period that reminisced about the flavors of the 1960s. Although labeled as cookie bars, the marketing campaign sometimes referred to them as candy bars, adding a touch of ambiguity to their identity. What set Summit apart was its unique composition. Two crispy wafers generously adorned with peanuts, all enrobed in a luscious layer of chocolate. In the context of the broader snack landscape from the 1960s, Summit cookie bars represented a fusion of nostalgic elements. The combination of wafers, peanuts, and chocolate echoed the popular flavor profiles of that era, harking back to the golden age of snack innovation. The Summit's distinct texture and taste became a memorable part of many consumers' childhoods. Despite being a short-lived delight, Summit cookie bars left an enduring mark on the collective memory of those who indulged in their sweet pleasures. Buckwheats, a breakfast cereal introduced by General Mills in the early 1970s, stands out as a notable snack from that era. Emerging during a time when breakfast cereals were diversifying flavors and ingredients, Buckwheat's uniquely featured toasted wheat flakes initially made with buckwheat. The cereal's distinctive twist lay in its sweet maple-flavored glaze baked onto the wheat flakes, offering a delightful combination of earthy grains and sugary sweetness. Debuting in an era marked by an increasing interest in diverse and flavorful food options, Buckwheat's aimed to capture the taste buds of consumers seeking something new in their morning routine. The cereal's blend of traditional wheat with the novel addition of buckwheat, coupled with the indulgent maple glaze, created a memorable and distinct flavor profile. 
Though Buckwheats was only in production for a limited period until the early 1980s, it left a lasting impression on those who experienced its unique taste. Feeling a sense of culinary curiosity after Buckwheats cereal? Let us explore our next irresistible snack from the 60s. Corn Diggers, a corn-based snack introduced in the late 20th century, carved a unique niche in the snack world with its distinct shape, differentiating it from the iconic Bugles. During a period of increased snack innovation, Corn Diggers offered a playful and crunchy alternative to traditional corn snacks. The snack's novel shape and corn-based composition contributed to its popularity among consumers looking for a break from conventional chips. While corn diggers may not have achieved lasting fame compared to some snacks from the same era, its brief presence on the market reflects the adventurous spirit of the snack industry during the 1960s and 1970s. This period saw a surge in creativity, with companies experimenting with shapes, flavors, and ingredients to captivate snack enthusiasts. Although not a household name today, Corn Diggers reminds us of an era when snack manufacturers eagerly explored new possibilities, contributing to a diverse and exciting landscape of treats for consumers. Dinosaur Cereal was a beloved snack from the 1960s that captivated children with its unique and imaginative concept. Introduced by General Mills in 1958, this prehistoric-themed cereal featured crunchy, sweetened oat pieces shaped like dinosaurs. The appeal of dinosaur cereal lay not only in its delicious taste, but also in the excitement it sparked among young breakfast enthusiasts. The cereal's mascot, a friendly animated dinosaur named Og, added to its charm and popularity. Og became an iconic character, featured prominently in advertising and on the cereal boxes. The product capitalized on the growing fascination with dinosaurs during that era, fueling the imaginations of children who enjoyed the delightful combination of tasty breakfast and the thrill of exploring the ancient world. Despite its popularity, dinosaur cereal was eventually discontinued in the 1970s, leaving a void for those who cherished the cereal during their childhood. Kaboom Cereal, a playful creation introduced by General Mills in 1969, remains an iconic snack from the 1960s that enthusiasts eagerly await to make a comeback. This circus-themed cereal was a visual delight, featuring vibrant ring-shaped cereal pieces that captured the essence of a lively carnival. What set Kaboom apart were its playful marshmallow shapes, including clowns, elephants, and stars, adding a touch of magic to the breakfast bowl. The cereal not only appealed to the eyes, but also delighted taste buds with its sugary sweetness, making it a favorite among both children and adults. The unique combination of colorful shapes and flavors created a memorable breakfast experience that has lingered in the collective memory of those who enjoyed it during its heyday. Today, Kaboom cereal has become a symbol of the carefree and joyful spirit of the 1960s. Enthusiasts fondly recall the excitement of discovering circus characters in their morning bowl, fostering a sense of connection and longing for the return of this colorful and beloved snack from the past. Next up is Pink Panther Flakes, a cereal snack that turned the milk into a vibrant pink hue, transforming breakfast into a delightful adventure back in the 1960s. Let's dive in. Pink Panther Flakes, a delightful creation inspired by the famous cartoon character, emerged as a beloved cereal in the 1960s. Launched during a time when animated characters were making their way into various consumer products, this cereal capitalized on the popularity of the suave and iconic Pink Panther. The cereal featured pink-colored flakes made from sweetened corn, creating a visually distinct and appealing breakfast option. The connection to the charming and mischievous Pink Panther added a touch of nostalgia for fans of the animated series, making it a hit among both children and adults. The sweet and crunchy nature of the cereal made it a morning favorite, providing a unique and enjoyable start to the day. Pink Panther Flakes became a cultural phenomenon, showcasing the influence of popular cartoons on consumer products. Today, discussions about classic snacks often bring up fond memories of the Pink Panther cereal, reflecting the enduring impact of animated characters on shaping not only entertainment, but also the breakfast table experience. Fruit Wrinkles, a delightful snack popularized in the 1980s, offered a unique twist on fruity treats. Resembling a more condensed version of fruit roll-ups, 
These small, chewy snacks quickly became a favorite among both children and adults. The appeal of fruit wrinkles lies in their convenience and intense fruit flavor packed into bite-sized portions. These snacks typically came in various fruit flavors, allowing consumers to enjoy a variety of tastes in one pack. The condensed form made them easy to handle and share, adding to their popularity as a convenient on-the-go treat. Fruit wrinkles found their place in lunch boxes, offering a burst of fruity sweetness that satisfied snack cravings without the mess associated with larger fruit roll-ups. Star Wars Cookies, a delicious treat introduced to coincide with the iconic Star Wars franchise, became a sensation in the late 1970s and early 1980s, making them a beloved part of snack history. Released by the Keebler Company, these cookies were not only a tasty indulgence, but also a marketing marvel. The cookies featured shapes inspired by characters and vehicles from the Star Wars universe, capturing the imagination of fans and casual consumers alike. What set these cookies apart was their role in bridging the gap between popular culture and everyday snacks. During the 1960s, the snack industry witnessed a surge in creativity, with companies experimenting to meet the evolving tastes of consumers. The Star Wars cookies exemplified this trend by combining the magic of the silver screen with the joy of snacking. The nostalgia surrounding these treats is not just about the flavors, but also the unique experience they offer a heavenly journey into a galaxy far, far away with each bite. Now moving away from Star Wars cookies, let us uncover the next iconic snack from the 1960s that deserves a place on your snack radar. The Milkshake Candy Bar, a delectable treat that emerged in the 1960s, encapsulates the nostalgic charm of that era's iconic snacks. This chocolate-covered delight boasts a unique twist with its malt-flavored nougat core setting it apart from traditional candy bars. The 1960s marked a dynamic period in snack innovation, and the milkshake candy bar became a beloved indulgence among those seeking a satisfying blend of rich chocolate and malt sweetness. During this time, the cultural landscape and consumer preferences influenced the snack industry, giving rise to inventive confections like the milkshake candy bar. Its malt-infused nougat offered a distinct taste that resonated with the palates of the era. The combination of smooth chocolate coating and the subtly complex malt flavor made it a standout choice, reflecting the adventurous spirit of the 1960s. Reviving the milkshake candy bar today taps into a collective desire for nostalgic treats, evoking a sense of comfort and simplicity from bygone times. 